You know, you, you, surround, you surround yourself with people that think like you do, and um, it just really motivates you and pumps me up because I know that everyone here has their story. Uh, I know I had mine, certainly had a lot of difficulties in the beginning, but now, you know, I'm getting my business to the point where uh, putting more systems and people in place. You know, in the beginning, I did everything myself, man. And, you know, for those of you that are just starting out and don't really have a lot, you're, gonna, you're probably going to have to do that, and it's probably a good thing um, just to learn every single facet of the business and uh, really get your feet wet. And you're going to make mistakes, you know, um, but that's just a whole learning process. There's a certain, Josh always has a saying, you know, there's a certain rite of passage uh, that, that comes along with this business, you know. It's that struggle that makes it all worth it. And once you get it and you start doing it over and over and over again, I mean, in January we closed four deals for $87,000, you know. And, man, I mean, just, if, just, to, just like in February it was 27000 and now I'm thinking, like, man, that's not enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know, to go from, like, having no money to be, being able to do these types of deals and, and it's just tremendous. It's awesome. I, I owe so much to these guys for all the training and the, and the support. Um, second to none, man. It's just awesome. Thanks a lot, Howie. Give Howie a hand. Nathan. Now, here's the story about Nathan real quick with his gambling pro problem <laughs> that I <clears throat> noticed. The, the gambling problem that he has is actually due to the guy next to him, Chris, who at our last event taught Nathan how to play blackjack. Well, since he taught Nathan how to play blackjack, Nathan was at our Masters Elite cruise that we took our Masters Elite students on in uh, February, and he won like 11 grand at the Atlantis, right? Like in, uh, in like a day or two. And then I was out with Nathan at a networking event uh, three weeks ago in Vegas, and he won 32 grand at the Palms. And now the kid throws around like $500 chips, like it's going out of style. He's like, I can't lose. I can't lose. Um, but yeah, I mean, Nathan's a really free spirit. Obviously, you can tell with his, uh, with his attitude, with his haircut and his clothing style and stuff like that. He just doesn't really give a shit. So, uh, <laughs> but no, Nathan, Nathan is, uh, again, uh, we met Nathan in 2004 at, at another uh, boot camp type of event. And, uh, and him and his dad, and, and, and we were talking to them, and we're, we're all kind of new at this, but we're having some success, and, and uh, we just created a friendship, man, and, and we've been hanging out ever since. So Nathan's also got a story of his own. So let's hear that a little bit, Nathan. What, uh, what's happened with you just kind of building your business to where it is now and sort of the, um, the evolution? Um, yeah, I mean, I've been in real estate for four years and started out doing short sales, but I was in Tampa. And four years ago, there really were no short sales. So we got a couple of them done, but it was just as easy to do wholesale deals and rehabs. And uh, I was actually, I got into real estate because I was roommates with a gentleman by the name of Preston Ely. You guys all know Preston? Okay. And uh, <laughs> the crowd's like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Preston. <laughs> so, so, you know, we were doing deals and, you know, he was doing wholesale deals. I was doing short sales. I started doing wholesale deals and then rehabs and then you know, February of 06, I wasn't doing any short sales because we really didn't, I didn't think we needed to and that was a mistake. And um, market crashed, lost a lot of money, like several hundred thousand dollars, a lot. So I'm like, okay, got a lot of debt, got to figure everything out. And everything had changed from uh, land trust over to option contracts and, you know, heard that Greg and Josh were now teaching this stuff and I knew that they were the real deal. We went to an event in Ohio, signed up for, uh, signed up for coaching, and then just kind of um, took like six months of just trial and error and just figuring out what, what worked and what didn't work in my market because um, the market was really bad. And then, um, you know, I read the four-hour work week, and then just uh, I was talking to there's uh, two students that are not here that definitely impacted me probably other than Greg and Josh and Jeff, more than anyone, was uh, Chris Glaze and Jim Walker. And they just, you know, I met both of them at that event, and I actually knew Jim from before, and they both just told me that, yeah, we're doing all of our deals with realtors, and Chris was working on 240 deals, and Jim was working on like 180, and I'm like, wow, and I'm working, at 15, I'm working on 15, and, you know, I, th I think that's a lot. So I would always be 
uh, in our mastermind calls, I'd be grilling Jim Walker with questions. Who do you pay this? Who do you pay this? Who does this? Who does this? Who does this? You know, how do you do this? And then um, just started slowly and slowly stepping away and doing less and less and less. First thing I outsourced was um, uh, the, the negotiating to, uh, to um, at the time, Josh had a loss mitigation negotiating company. We, we, we outsourced them to that. And then um, I was partnering with investors and realtors on these deals. And, uh, and then, um, you know, only started working exclusively with realtors and then got an assistant. And now I have a BPO agent. So like right now we have 130 deals in our pipeline. We flip anywhere between five to 10 properties a month, although it's going up in the last two weeks we've done or in the last week we did three, this week we're doing three, so it's six in a week. And, um, you know, I don't talk to sellers, I don't talk to buyers, I don't talk to banks, I don't look at houses, I don't have a huge office with a ton of employees. Um, I just have one employee, I, I, have, I have an assistant. Um, and then I actually have a sales guy, Chad, who's sitting in the back right now. Um, and then my dad's my partner, he kind of handles, he really doesn't do anything, he just wires money. <laughs> to the title company and he makes sure the utilities are turned on and he, he takes care of the books and I'm just kind of like the easy house solutions poster boy and you know I, I right now I'm doing all of my deals out of um, one office um, at Keller Williams office uh, I, I moved to this condo building um, in Channelside in, in downtown Tampa and I was doing probably working on like 30 or 40 deals and then I just said okay I'm gonna walk down to the Keller Williams office on the second floor of the building that I live in and just start yakking because that's what I do. And um, started doing deals with uh, two agents there. They started immediately working with me. And then uh, the broker there uh, was this uh, guy, Chris McLaughlin, who at the time was teaching short sales. He was traveling around Florida teaching short sales to agents. And all the, uh, all the agents in his office were like, Chris, you gotta meet this kid. His name is Nathan. He knows like way more than you do. You, you, know, you think you know more, he knows way more. So Chris is like, okay, cool. So Chris. You know, he says, you know, I know you're doing these, you know, these short sales, you're using land trust. I'm like, no, we use something else. So he takes me to lunch and I just break down for him every, like, you know, he's like, how do you find sellers? How do you find buyers? How do you do this? How do you do that? And I just broke down everything in an hour. And um, he's just like, okay, we, we have to sell this, is basically what he said. So, um, you know, now I'm teaching it, but just forget about that. Just by getting in with one broker, uh, you know, he legitimizes everything I do because he's an attorney and, you know, so my business has tripled or quadrupled just because of that. And, uh, you know, I, I, there's a lot of students, me and uh, Jeff Watson were just on the phone with an investor in California. And he's like, my broker says that this is illegal, we can't do it. And I think that you guys want us to tell you something that's like, like some miracle word that you're gonna say that's gonna convince that broker to say, oh, okay, that's fine. No, the answer is just find a different office, find a different broker, find one that gets it, and then, like, I have a rule. I just tell all the agents that want to work with me, you want to work with me, you got to join Chris McLaughlin as the office. Of the eight agents I work with, seven of them are Keller Williams agents in my office. They're working next to me. Um, in, in that office, I won't work with one other agent, but because she is her own broker, she can, she can kind of do whatever she wants. And I, I just hold training classes at that class every month. A lot of you guys are worried about competition, and you think that if you give away all of your secrets, they're all going to turn in your competition, which could happen, but it's not really. I mean, there's more deal business out there than I could even handle anyway. So I hold training classes for all the agents in that office, and I don't care if they do deals with me. I don't care if they do deals with another investor. I don't care if they become their own investor and go deals with someone else. I'm perceived as the expert, so 90% of them want to work with me because of that. So you guys need to understand that like competition, there is no such thing as competition. Just give away all of your secrets, okay? And they're going to want to work with you. I, you know, I promise you that. You know, I'm not ever, not all of them, but the majority of them. Don't be so, you know, like this, like, oh, I'm not going to teach anyone anything. So. Some of those purple chips. All right. <laughs> just give them all, just give away all of your secrets. That's the, that's the trick. I, uh.